So with the new Tab S8 tablets getting all the attention recently, I feel like these two cheaper tablets make it overlooked. And for those of you out there who like the new Galaxy Tab S8, but you don't really want to pay that kind of money and are thinking of getting one of their more budget friendly tablets like the Tab S7 FE and the Galaxy Tab A8. Well, in this video, we're comparing the two. So hopefully you'll have a better idea of which tablet is best for you. Probably one of the biggest deciding factors is gonna be the price of these two. The Galaxy Tab A8 is gonna be a little bit cheaper, right around 230 bucks in the United States for the base model that has 32 gigabytes of storage. And then it goes up to 320 bucks for the 128 gigabytes of storage. The Tab S7 FE seems like it's always on sale. Currently you can get the 64 gigabyte version for about $380 on Amazon, but normal price is right around 500 bucks. So you'll want to check the links in the description of the video because the price is always changing for both tablets. You get three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, then four gigabytes of RAM with 64 or 128 gigabytes storage, which isn't bad for a more affordable tablet. But with the S7 FE, you get 64 gigabytes of storage on the base model, four gigabytes of RAM, then it goes up to six gigabytes of RAM with 128, eight gigabytes of RAM with 256. So as you can see, better options with the S7 FE, but that also means it's gonna cost quite a bit more money as well. You get a 10.5 inch screen on the tab a8 with 1920 by 1200 resolution and then a 12.4 inch screen on the s7 fe and that's got a little bit higher resolution 2560 by 1600 and the fe looks sort of huge next to the tab a8 then you're also going to get the s pen with the s7 fe which is actually really nice to use Unfortunately, you don't have the S Pen option with the cheaper Tab A8. And yeah, you could buy it separately, but no, it's not gonna work on there. The only thing that really works is a capacitive stylus, and that's not gonna be nearly as good as the S Pen. The screen brightness seems a little bit better or brighter on the larger S7 FE. And when you put them next to each other, I feel like the colors look a little more saturated or vibrant on the FE version as well. There's a couple things to note on the cheaper Galaxy Tab A8. You only get SD playback resolution on the Tab A8 when watching Netflix, 1080p resolution on YouTube, where you get full HD playback on Netflix for the S7 FE, 2160p resolution on YouTube. So that may bother some people out there. I don't really think it's a deal breaker, but just something to keep in mind. I feel like both are gonna be fine for watching movies, playing games, browsing online, or just catching up on some reading. It's just that things tend to look a little bit better on the S7 FE. You're gonna get a 7,040 milliamp hour battery in the Tab A8, 10,090 milliamp hour, and the S7 FE. So quite a bit bigger battery in the S7, but surprisingly the battery life I got was seven hours on the A8, six hours on the S7 FE. Now keep in mind that's at 100% screen brightness and more of an extreme use scenario. So you should be able to get through the entire day with normal usage, probably a couple days with the screen brightness turned down. Since both tablets are made by Samsung, even though they are slightly different versions of Android, as of this video, the Tab A8 is on Android 11, the S7 FE is on Android 12, but you're still gonna get a very similar software experience between the two. Some slight differences though, considering you have the S Pen on the FE, which is gonna come in handy for taking notes, drawing, or just moving around the software. You can also connect a keyboard and mouse to both to be a little more productive, but with the larger FE tablet, you're gonna get Samsung DeX, which is gonna take things up a notch, making it feel a little bit closer to using an actual laptop. I don't think you can go wrong with either tablet as far as software goes. But as you can see, you are gonna get a little more with the S7 FE, like the S Pen, Samsung DeX, better keyboard attachments, and with the bigger screen, it's just gonna make multitasking a little bit easier you get a Unisoak T618 processor in the Tab A8, and then depending on which version you get of the S7 FE, you get a Snapdragon 750 or 778. Either way, the FE tablet is gonna be more powerful. As you can see here in Geekbench testing, I don't think it's gonna be drastic though, just moving around the software until you get into a lot more intense stuff like multitasking. But yeah, if you want the tablet with better performance, you're gonna wanna grab the S7 FE. 
Same thing when it comes to gaming, you're gonna get slightly better gaming performance on the S7 FE. Games are gonna load a little bit faster. You can also get higher frame rates, better graphics. On the S7 FE, it's not gonna be a huge difference, but it's enough to notice when you own both tablets. Having said that, I think most people will enjoy playing games on either tablet. It may just come down to how big of a screen you wanna use. PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 seem to play fine on both tablets without too much frame rates dropping or overheating issues. But yeah, if you want the tablet with better gaming, you're gonna wanna go with the Tab S7 FE. Nice thing is you got speakers on both sides of each tablet. You get two speakers on each side for the Tab A8, one speaker on each side for the S7 FE. When you put these next to each other, I feel like the Tab A8 is slightly louder, but the FE speakers actually sound a little fuller or just have better bass. Either way, both tablets actually sound pretty good. I don't feel like anyone's gonna be disappointed with either. Here's a quick sample of each, just to give you an idea of what they sound like. Now when it comes to cameras, you're gonna get an eight megapixel rear facing camera, five megapixel front facing on both tablets. You also get full HD at 30 frames per second for the front facing cameras, but you're only gonna get auto framing on the more expensive FE version. I also feel like the quality of the FE front facing camera is a little bit better. So if you need one of these for Zoom meetings or other video conference calls, I'd probably go with the FE. Here's a few samples from each, just to give you an idea of what to expect. So that's about all the time I have for this one. Hopefully I gave you a better look at these two more affordable tablets from Samsung. In the end, I think there's a lot to consider between these two, depending on what kind of stuff you wanna do with your tablet. I still have quite a few more tablet and phone comparisons to put together. And one of these days I might actually get through my entire list. So let me know if there's another comparison you'd like to see. If it's already on the list, I might move that one up to get to it a little bit faster. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh,